Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're going to talk about the power of manganese for herniated discs and sciatica pain and low back pain. Okay, Manganese is a trace mineral that's involved in certain enzymes that help you strengthen ligaments. When you're deficient in manganese, you have weak muscles, soft bones, weak ligaments, body aches, and even skeletal deformations. So if you have, the, here's the spinal column, for example, you have vertebra, you have a disc in between, and then the ligament is the thing that keeps the, the disc from bulging out. So if this ligament is weak, it can bulge out into the spinal column and cause all sorts of pain. So taking manganese can help strengthen that ligament. How do you get manganese? It's from leafy greens, vegetables, nuts, especially pecans, or cinnamon. Okay. If you want to take a supplement, take the chelated version. Don't just get the elemental manganese because that's, a, that's metallic and it's toxic. Okay. You want to get a chelated, which means it's combined with an amino acid. It's real easy in the body and the body can absorb it a lot better. All right. So go ahead and try this and put your comments below. Let's talk about the best exercise for a condition called spondylolisthesis. And that condition is where you have this bone in your lower back that is overlapping another bone. It usually is like L5 um, that's overlapping the sacrum. So what happened is you had this fracture long ago or, or recently, and that broke off the back part of your vertebra, and now it's slipping forward. And so when the spinal cord comes down through the column, it has to take a little bend, and sometimes that can create dull pain, pain down the legs, bowel problems, a lot of issues. There's some great exercises that you can do to totally stabilize this area uh, and prevent future problems. Um, realize that the vertebra is slipped forward, okay? Flip forward this way. So anything that would hyperextend going backwards where your back is being arched backwards would be a bad thing. So if you laid on your stomach and arched back up, you don't want to do that because that's going to push this vertebra further forward. What you want to do is do the reverse of that. So you want to lay on your back. That's called being supine. Okay. And then you want to bring your knees up to your chest. You can start stretching them, but then you can actually do exercises where you're bringing either one leg at a time or both of them upwards back and forth to strengthen the lower part of your abdomen. That would be very, very smart as far as an exercise. This way it pushes that bone back into alignment. Also, if you were to lay the opposite direction prone over one of those big exercise balls and you lay forward, it's going to push that vertebra up into your back and you can kind of stretch. And then another really good thing to do is if you could lay in your back and push your lower back to the ground. Okay, so keep pushing it to the ground so you can start getting relief because what we want to do is we want to take that vertebra and keep it um, aligned so there's no pinching of the spinal column. And doing planks is essential. I'll put a link down below of what that is, um, but you're basically holding your entire body at a certain level and you're just holding that position and it's called an isometric exercise. And you can actually lift your arm and your leg, but that way you're not uh, bending your lower back, you're strengthening your core and that really is the key. And the core is really the connection between the upper torso and your lower legs. So anything that will stabilize your core would be a very therapeutic thing. And anything that would extend your spine going back would be very, very bad. A couple more points. Um, reducing inflammation in general will greatly help. So you, of course, want to do healthy keto. If you're new to my channel, I put a link below what that means. You definitely want to do intermittent fasting because that's probably the most powerful thing to drop inflammation. Vitamin D3 is essential. I would take a minimum of 20,000 international units of vitamin D every single day, and that will actually help your back pain. In fact, your muscles will feel relaxed, and if there's any arthritis, that will feel better as well. Stinging nettle root is another one of my favorite um, plants that gives you an anti-inflammatory effect as well. All right, thanks for watching. So I remember someone was showing me this plank exercise, right? And I was kind of like, that's so easy. That's not really a workout. That's not going to do anything. 
And so I actually tried it and I was shocked how difficult it was at the very beginning. But there's some really cool benefits from doing this plank exercise. So what is it? It's an isometric type exercise where you're not contracting your muscles, you're stationary. And so there's a modified version or the regular version, what's called the front plank. And the modified version, you're on your knees and you're on your forearms and your entire spine from your head all the way to the bottom part is straight. It's neutral. You're keeping your shoulders back and down and you're not bending at the hip level. So that would be modified. And then you have the regular type where you're doing like a push-up, but you're on your elbows and you're maintaining that position. And there's a lot of other variations to that, which is more advanced. So you start out doing between one and six reps, one set. You're going to hold that position for at least 10 seconds, but you want to work up to a minute. And so you're going to rest between 30 and 90 seconds. I'm telling you, it looks really easy, but it's very difficult in the beginning. And uh, it's quite a workout. You're going to feel it the next day. Let's talk about the benefits of a plank exercise. It can build your core. What is a core? The core is something that connects the upper torso to the bottom part of your legs. You have the abdominal muscles, the back muscles, the side muscles, the hip muscles, and the buttocks. It can help your posture. It can help the relationship between your chest and your mid-back and your shoulders and your neck. It can keep your head over your spine so it's not too forward this way. Number three, it actually can help symmetry between the front part of your body and the back part of the body as far as strength. Because if you're asymmetrical, that can produce pain in your joints, especially your lower back. Now, number four, it strengthens the tendons, the ligaments, and the muscles. Because you have to hold this position for a long period of time. Number five, it can create a lot of stability in your core. So, and what I mean by stability is it can keep your back from being unstable and it can help your coordination when you walk and it can just reduce pain in your lower back. Number six, you can actually get a workout by doing this exercise. I'm talking about sweating and definitely feeling sore the next day. It's also really good to mesh in with other types of exercises. All right, number seven, like all exercise, it can also help you reduce stress. So I put a video down below of an actual demonstration of how to do this, but you should check it out. Try it out and tell me what you think. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.